Executive Thursday Show. Well, accountants are a body of people who render stewardship to relevant stakeholders. Just the same way teachers have a scheme of work, the same way the, uh, the legislators have the constitution, the accountants are guided by what we know as the regulatory framework or reporting standards. Uh, what are reporting standards? Reporting standards are a body of rules, regulations, and uh, act or statutes that an accountant works by. And uh, whatever an accountant prepares in the report is guided by the application of these standards. The financial report consists of various statements, such as the statement of financial position, statement of compressive income, statement of cash flow, and others. And uh, for universality and uh, comparison globally, these statements have to be guided by a certain procedure or laid down principle. And this is what is embedded in what we call the financial reporting standards. Uh, you, we also need to understand that these financial reporting standards do not just come from heaven. It is being pronounced by certain organizations or report standard setting bodies and globally the international federation of accountants is the global organization charged with the responsibility of releasing the reporting standards in nigeria we have the financial reporting council that supersedes the conformity of these standards into local application that is in nigeria here and uh, the financial reporting council is also a, a, a mother body for professional bodies that are related to the creation of standards, of which the Association of National Accountants is a key organization, is a key member body of the Financial Reporting Council. Others include the Office of the Accountant General, the Ministry of Finance, Auditor General, the Ministry of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, and what have you. So, uh, all accountants, financial report preparers, are advised to usually ensure that they are well grounded in the knowledge of financial reporting standards, especially IFRS and the uh, Statement of Accounting Standard, that is the one locally in Nigeria, as well as its use and application in preparing their relevant financial statements that will be communicated to the relevant stakeholders. And uh, we, we at ANAN, we advise our members, prospective students to ensure they are up and doing in their knowledge of these reporting standards so as to boost the uh, quality of reports that will be presented under the seal of the association. Now, uh, let's look at the benefits of the use of these reporting standards. Um, first and foremost, it ensures um, comparative analysis for global reporting. That is, if you prepare an account here in Nigeria, such accounts can be comparatively assessed elsewhere in any way in the world. Also, it promotes foreign direct investment because at the moment when reports are prepared in the same manner, it makes it easy for investors, stakeholders, and other participants to be able to pick out um, figures and facts that they need to make um, investments or financial decisions. Also, it boosts uh, wealth creation. How do I mean? You are, you are certain about whatever it is your income is in a country, provided the account is prepared the same in another country, you can, you know, basically compare and contrast in these various locations. Now, whatever has a good side as or the bad side, a failure to adhere to the reporting standards will, just, will lead to uh, misinformation to the users of the financial report. It will also uh, inform wrong decisions by investors. So majorly, and advice, uh, and in an advice to members, as well as accountants and financial report preparers, uh, the use of the reporting standards is highly encouraged, and uh, we urge ANAN members to be up and doing in the knowledge and use once more of the 
financial reporting standards and other applicable standards that will be pronounced by relevant accounting bodies. Do have a nice day.